I will admit, this is definitely a massive jump from building the Nanoblock Pac-Man arcade machine. Like for real, 160 pieces versus 370 pieces? <laughs> I guess I was asking for it at that point. I asked for a challenge, and I pretty much got it. Would I do it again? Absolutely. Hell, I might even get better at this in the near future. After all, I did say that I would build great Mazinger at some point. I spoke it up, so I can't fall back on my word. And now the time has come. Jamangbai Dash! Hello world, it's me, Jamangbai. During the first season of Jamangbai Builds, I decided to challenge myself pretty early in the series by building the Nanoblock Kara Nano Mazinger Z. Compared to what I built before it, the piece count was doubled. And you know what? It kind of humbled me. Well, today's episode, I'm going to avenge myself by building the successor to Mazinger Z. Great Mazinger! Weighing in at 400 pieces and standing at a 3 out of 5 difficulty, this shares the same difficulty as Mazinger Z, plus 30 extra pieces. We'll just see how great you really are, Mr. 30 Extra Pieces. Everything you see right here is what's included inside the box, and when it's all done, it will look like this. But we'll get to that later. It's time to get my revenge! Let's build up! Fleet's noble architecture has proven itself against the Vega, but the palace won't hold up much longer. I must hurry. All this destruction. I hope our Praetorians have led my family to safety. Maria must be scared to death. I hope she's okay. Or the Vega will pay for it a hundredfold. Curse you! What do you hope to gain from death and desolation? Get out of my sight, monsters! Anti-gravity storm! Dizer punch! Anti-gravity storm! Teacher, where are you? I can't find my family! Please! Relaunching the Spacer has proven to be more difficult than expected, my prince. I still have some fine tuning to do. Persevere, and I'll get the saucer to you as soon as possible. How dare you set foot in this palace again? Dizer Punch! Your machines won't save you. Anti gravity storm! Soldier Boomerang!
Royal Tower. My family might have found refuge there. No! Murderer! Monster! Savage! You will be sorry! Go! Dies, my family. Fleet. And its guardian. Hold out, your highness. I've sent the spacer to find you. It's too late, teacher. Much too late. Your highness, Grendizer cannot fall into their hands. You must survive. Use the sorcerer, I beg of you. Spacer go. Spacer cross. Shoot out. <laughs> Alright, let's take a look at Great Mazinger. What do you guys think? Did I redeem myself from biting off more than I could chew two seasons ago? Let's find out. A lot of things have changed since season one. This time around, I was more organized with my blocks instead of having them scattered across the table. I've become more confident with the nanoblock tools at my disposal, making for a much smoother experience. What hasn't changed is the completion time. I've only managed to finish it within two minutes less than Mazinger Z. Funny enough, these two models are one and the same. Both models have 39 steps. Despite differences in design, notably with the head, chest, and different colored waist block, the bodies are identical. What's even more interesting is that both offered similar experiences as I built them. I had moments where I was just hoping that looser parts would hold securely with blocks from the following steps. Sometimes it would work out, other times I would just tread lightly so pieces wouldn't fall off. Most of that happened with their heads. But for Great Mazinger, I had to be really careful with the V fin on his chest, because either side would fall off, which didn't happen with Mazinger Z. The icing on the similarity cake was definitely with how unruly the ball and socket joints between the leg and a foot would just not stay put. For Great Mazinger, I decided to opt out of using glue, but I definitely used it for Mazinger Z back then. And then I said, screw it, I'm using it for Great Mazinger too. <laughs> You're not getting me again. Great Mazinger looks pretty awesome. Like all of the Kara Nano models that I've built so far, this guy sports an SD style that takes me back to the days of playing the Super Robot Wars video games. I'm always impressed with the attention to detail that's done with these models, especially when it comes to attaching the Brain Condor vehicle to Great Mazinger's head just like in the anime. What's even cooler is that it's the last thing that you have to do when you build it. Fire 
on! In similar fashion to Mazinger Z's Jet Powder, you're able to build the full body of the brain condor if you wish to display it outside of the head. I don't see why anybody would want to do that, but at least the option's there. Other parts of Great Mazinger are also represented very well here, from the V-fin on his chest, the antenna on the sides of his head, to the scramble dash on his back. I feel that any Super Robot fan looking to build this guy would appreciate what's been achieved here. Great Mazinger has six points of articulation, I'll try not to knock any parts off here. Let's check the flex! Great Mazinger stands at nearly 4 inches tall. Here are a few size comparisons. Cross Silhouette Great Mazinger, the Nano Block Kara Nano Mazinger Z, and because I have her nearby, the Funko Pop Aloy. It's times like this that I can appreciate revisiting something familiar, as I have with Great Mazinger. I was able to tackle it in a different way with new enthusiasm thanks to my experience with Mazinger Z. I had to redeem myself for getting so frustrated back then. Despite both experiences sharing a lot of similarities, it doesn't feel like a rerun. But one thing's for certain, super robots are freaking awesome. And that wraps it up for today's episode of Jamang by Builds. I'd like to thank each and every one of you for watching. If you're new around here, I hope you decide to stick around because there's more on the way. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. But in the meantime, keep on building. Peace, Jamang by Dash! Next time on Jamang by Builds.